Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. We're going to do another recipe out of the Cafe Royal Cocktail Book. This is the 1937 Coronation Edition, although to my knowledge there really only was one edition. Um, great cocktail book and we're going to do something today called Canadian Glory. And it calls specifically for Canadian Club whiskey. So I've got this bottle of sort of the standard Canadian Club pretty close to what would have been on the shelf in 1937 in London, England, this bottle. But we're going to switch it up and we're also going to use a different Canadian whiskey just to see how it works out. Okay, so we're going to start out. It calls for a teaspoon of lemon juice into each mixing glass or shaking glass. A teaspoon of Bull's apricot brandy. and a teaspoon of dry curacao. Then we need three ounces of the Canadian Club. And so that will be in this shaker. And we're going to use the Saint Laurent uh, small batch whiskey from Quebec, and we've had some uh, we've had some really good experiences with this whiskey in mixed cocktails. It's three years old, and it is only batch number two from this company. So, and I will ice and shake these one at a time. And a double strain. Hey, Glenn. Hey, friends. What do we have today? I give you Canadian glory. Hoppa! <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So it's, I mean, it's really? obviously Canadian whiskey. Canadian club. It's Canadian okay. club. Um, Shall we drink it? Let's give it a try. <clears throat> Not sure. Let's try this one. I think it, I like this one better. It's more harmonious. Yeah. This one, the whiskey really jumps out. Yes, if you wanted a, something that if you wanted distinctly whi tasted like whiskey, yep. this is your cocktail. Yep. If you wanted that kind of cocktail that is a blend of flavors, this, this is, is the it. better choice. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's because this is really a, a mixing whiskey. That's really what it's, I mean, that's what it's for. But I still wouldn't. I don't think there's any drive to order that. Um, I think it's because to me, some of these other flavors are so far in the background. Like they're not, they're almost not adding anything. I might as well just be drinking whiskey. Yes. You know, you know what I mean? Like it, it, there's really, they're not adding anything to it. And I wonder if that's just a matter of the ratio, or, and that's the thing. Yeah. I'm not, a, none I'm of, none not of, a drink designer. Well, and none of these products are what was available in 1937. <laughs> that is true as well, right? The 1937 version of this might have been absolutely fabulous. Completely different, you know. The Bulls, they say that they've been making that since 18... No. Sorry. 1575. <laughs> I, I don't believe it. Um... I don't believe that it's the same formula anymore. This Curacao, this Curacao is relatively new on the market in the in the world of, of cocktails. So, you know, and as much as this has been made since 1858, again, things change. That's so, okay. There's um, lots of other cocktails. I had high hopes for Canadian glory. <laughs> didn't uh, didn't pan out this time. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.